Today's topic, 11 fake fees updated with a specific role play on how to avoid paying fake fees at a car dealership and a bonus tip at the end on when you should say, I'm paying cash. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy and author of Is That The Best You Can Do? Today's amazing video is brought to you by The Homework Guy team, home of super high intensity training for car buyers and very savvy group of auto experts to boot. If you like the high quality help that we provide for car buyers with The Homework Guy videos, and you want to support our efforts, well, there are plenty of ways that you can do it, and we appreciate all the support you give us. Ever since we published the video, 11 Fake Fees, we've been bombarded with the question, how do you get out of paying fake fees? You'll be delighted to know that's the focus of today's video, a role play in dealer finance and how to get rid of fees you shouldn't be paying. Let's see if you recognize that finance man. If you think dealers appreciate us teaching you how to navigate the gauntlet they've set up for you, well, check out this comment here from Armand Tremblay. Clearly, a car salesman who gets diarrhea of the mouth, yells in all caps with his comments, and screams at us about having a vendetta against the car business. You know what's funny? It has never occurred to people like Armand and dealers like him who share his attitude that we're just promoting a business model that is fair, honest, and transparent. And that's a little too much for them. Well, we'll keep doing what we do until that day has arrived in the car business. Now, it's a bit ironic that today's topic, the 11 fake fees and how to get out of paying them, is all about the complete opposite of fairness, honesty, and transparency. We published this subject before, a video that easily shot over a million views. Today, we've added in a role play to show you how to avoid paying fake fees at dealers who are far from being fair, honest, and transparent. First, three rules about car negotiations. Number one. Never say you plan to pay cash for your car until after you negotiated every aspect of your car deal. To get the best price in the car you want, you must let the dealer think that you might finance. You can get more details on this from our video, Don't Say I'm Paying Cash at Car Dealerships. Number two, don't ask for any of the fees that we're going to talk about to be removed from your car deal until just before you're ready to sign the contract. If you're at a dealership, you have to be sitting in finance when you do this. Don't worry, we're going to show you with a role play exactly how to do that. Number three, the only legitimate fees that you must pay on a car purchase are state taxes, title, and license fees. That's it. Any other fee the dealer claims they need to collect is just a profit line booster for their bottom line, and it is a fake fee. All right, buckle up. I'm going to start with a quick overview of fake fees and then roll right into some actual role play of how to get these fees removed. Here are several common fake fees. Number one, dealer prep fee. Dealers are getting in the habit of putting a line item charge on car contracts that bills for all the stuff they claim they had due to the car to get it ready for you. That's nonsense. The entire reason that you're already paying a much fatter price for a car on a dealer lot than the same car you'd buy from your neighbor, well, it's because of all the things a dealer does to bring a car up to a retail standard for sale. A dealer prep fee? Well, that's nothing more than a double dip. Number two, advertising fees. Advertising fees or regional advertising fees. Can you imagine any other business adding in an advertising fee after you made your purchase? Well, sorry, ma'am, but we're going to add 25 cents to your paper towels for advertising. No, this is a big fake fee. Don't pay it. Number three, ADM fee, additional dealer markup. This is a slap in the face to any intelligent person. It's nothing more than the dealer telling you they want their profit margin increased. Additional markup. Nothing more. In a moment, we're going to show you how you tell them where to put it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Number four, delivery fee or destination fee. This fee is only legitimate on a brand new car, and the line item is visible on the window sticker of the car. No used car will ever have a destination fee or delivery fee. We're going to chop this one too. Number five, acquisition fee. Only a lease car has an acquisition fee and it comes directly from the leasing company. This doesn't stop dealers from sneaking that acquisition fee into new or used car purchases. If you're buying a car new or used and you see an acquisition fee, you're going to make it go away before you sign. Number six, document fee. This is a biggie and the auto industry succeeded in getting legislators in their state to pass state laws on it. The laws largely say that a dealer must charge all customers the same, and some establish a limit on how much it can be. That's it. So, let me explain these laws in words that make sense to you. 
The fact that the dealer ripped off all their other customers with this fake fee, the law says they have to be fair as in equal, so that means they have to fairly rip everybody off the same. So if they got away with it before with all those other customers, they must screw you over with a document fee as well. Does it sound like your legislators are very smart? Nope, they're not. There's no IQ test to run for public office. To be fair, car dealers find their way around almost anything and they frequently skate on the edge of breaking state laws. And yes, that's exactly what car dealers did with these stupid state laws. Of course, all the dealers did it. As if there's some level of innocence or removal of guilt if everyone else in your city is doing it too. Wait for the upcoming role play on this. It's going to be great. Number seven, processing fee or electronic filing fee. Well, believe it or not, this is the exact same thing as the document fee. However, since many states have passed laws about document fees, as I already mentioned, slimeball dealers insert a new category of fees. You see what I mean about skating around the laws? They will claim they have to obey the law on the document fee and then completely thumb their nose at the same law with a double dip fee known as a processing fee or electronic filing fee. You're not going to pay any of this, and you're going to love the role play on how to make it go away. Number eight, procurement fee. Sounds official, doesn't it? It can be combined with electronic filing fee or other fees. It's still a bunch of nonsense. Dealers like big words, and procurement sounds like something they could get away with it, so they just floated it out there for you. Number nine, state mandated fee. When I mentioned that some of the dealers skate on the edge of breaking the law, the use of state mandated fee anywhere on the contract, well, this language is as much in the gray area of the law as it gets. The dealer is nothing more than creating a very loose interpretation of state law and then using it to collect more profits for their own pockets. Have you ever heard of a state legislature passing laws to make sure additional profits are made by any form of business? No, you haven't. There should be no additional line item anywhere in your contract that shows a separate category of state mandated fees outside of tax title and license fees. Number 10, inspection fee. Really? A dealer wants you to pay an inspection fee of their car? This is just ridiculous. It's as ridiculous as a dealer prep fee. Nonsense. Don't pay an inspection fee on your car purchase. Number 11, administrative fee. Well, this is just another fake fee hiding behind a document fee, a fee dealers are hoping no lawmaker ever decides to write some clarity on. Don't worry, they won't. The automaker lobby is very powerful and puts tons of money into the pockets of politicians for a very good reason, and this happens to be one of those very good reasons. Now, check out our role play. It's always my crew that gets to have a little fun with these, so I decided today that I was going to join in for this session as the finance officer. A customer has just purchased a used car. It's in great shape, has tons of life in it, and she has already declined the products the finance man has attempted to sell her. She plans to pay cash for the car, but she's going to hold that piece of information until the very end. Watch what she does. First, she has to get rid of the fake fees, and here's how she's going to do it. You're not going to protect your investment with any of our great products? Uh, most customers do. No. I bought a good, reliable car when I researched, so I don't need any of that stuff. Well, what's going to happen if things like a... Oh, nothing, nothing. We have a good relationship with the shop owner in the area, and we take some of our repairs ourselves. That's how we protect the investment. But I, uh, I also have a few questions. Sure. There's two fees listed here. One is e-filing fee for 250 and this administrative fee for 150 I'm aware that these are not state fees, and they're not fees I'm required to pay. These are fake fees, and there's just a way for you to add more profit for the dealer. I've already agreed to the price I'm willing to pay for the car, and I'm not gonna let you fatten up the profit with these fees. They're fees we charge everyone. Yeah, you charge everyone these fees, but they don't realize they're not valid. You're double dipping on document fees with both these, and you already have a document fee here, so I'm not gonna be charged twice for the same thing. I'm not charging you twice. You're right. You're actually trying to charge me three times. Administrative fee, e-filing fee, document fee. All fees that have to do with transferring the title to the state level. I'm not paying for that same fee. Take them off. I'll have to call my boss. Hey, this isn't my first rodeo. The boss you need to call is the one telling you to do this stuff. But we all know it's wrong. So there's no mystery here. Just take the fees off. Okay, I'm going to do this uh, just this once here because you're such a loyal customer of the dealership. And... Um, that and that. 
Okay, they're gone. Okay, I'm not done. There is actually a $500 fee for the document fee, and that right. is ridiculously high. You and I both know the process to send this info to the state. It's click, click, done, and that only takes five or 10 minutes from somebody in the back room. I'm only gonna give you 75 for that. The document fee in the amount that we charge, well, this is mandated by the state. We have to charge everyone the same. I'm inclined to pay nothing for this. If the state actually mandated a document fee, it would be the same everywhere in the whole state, but it's not. You guys pick arbitrarily a number and then charge everyone. You and I both know that you're already charging the retail price for the car, and that should cover some of this office expense. So $75, that's it. I can't do that. It's a, it's a state law. Hey, I've read the law. Look it up. The law just says you have to charge all the customers the same, and it provides a cap. You're right at the cap. Apparently, you didn't think $75 was more than fair, and it is. Well, I'm not the one who sets the amount. It's mandated by state law, and it can't be waived. I, I don't have a choice on this one. Yes, I do have a choice. Since you and I both know you're already getting paid for the document fee with the high retail price of the car, it's designed just to pump the price even higher. I'm going to subtract the four seventy-five dollars off the price that I was willing to pay. So my offer of $31,000 is now reduced by four twenty-five. dollars That's $30,575. You can't just do that. I just did. 30575 is my final offer, plus tax, title, license fees only. I'm willing to walk. You're going to pass on this great car deal and just for over 425 bucks. You're going to pass on this car deal because of the $31,000 sale and a failed attempt to charge me ridiculous fees? Well. Hey, you don't have to call anyone. You know everything I said is correct, and you're lucky enough to have met your first savvy customer for the day. Do you know the homework guy? Sounds familiar. That guy just... Um, yeah, that, his team teaches us everything about car buying, and I'm a great student. Um, are we done kidding ourselves here? 30575 final offer. Tax title license. Okay. I made the changes. Are you satisfied? Yes, and by the way, I'm paying cash. Yes, we had a little fun with this today, didn't we? Don't be afraid to defend yourself. Mention the homework guy videos just like she did if you'd like. Navigate your way through these fees any way you want, but I hope this helped give you some ideas. One thing I want to make sure that you didn't miss. The customer got rid of all the obvious fake fees first. She left the document fee until last, and that is a shrewd move. The document fee is the only fake fee that has any form of law attached to it, and you just saw how she handled it. Great job. Leave it for last, but take it out of the price of the car. When all that is done and you're left looking at the price plus tax, title, and license, well, that's when you can say, by the way, I'm paying cash. They will love you for it. Well, not really. <laughs> if you appreciate the video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leaving a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and make sure to join us on the many other social media platforms that we're on as well. We post notifications and other updates on several social media sites and answer car buying questions there too. If you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in the description box below as well as on our website. Here's the best part. We don't just help car buyers. We use your tips to support a great friend of ours, Maggie. She's an amazing young lady who's making a huge difference in the lives of university students, inspiring them with hope and kindness and... Maggie thanks you in advance for helping us help her. Just like the Homework Guy channel, Maggie knows that you change the world by what you do. If you can't do a tip today, no problem. Just help us get the word out. The Homework Guy team loves it when you share our videos with your family and friends and encourage others to subscribe to the channel. As our following grows, each and every one of you are playing a role in helping to defeat the dishonest operators in the car business who are still struggling to figure out that plain old fairness and honesty is the best business model. Who'd have thunk it? Well, thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.